In this video, I'll be exposing Cat Williams and three of his other characters on the world stage because Cat Williams is a character just like every other celebrity. But for some reason, people think Cat Williams is a real person that is actually exposing something. But in reality, he's another Masonic puppet that was created by the industry to deceive you and to get you to think that he's actually exposing something when in reality, He's just distracting you and keeping you under his spell. This is why many people defend this particular celebrity because for some reason people get happy when they see a celebrity pretending to expose something and they know this which is why they create celebrities like Orlando Brown, Nipsey Hussle, XXXTentacion, Tupac, even people like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. They love creating these controlled opposition characters to build up a fake leader so that a real person won't become that leader and then they end up killing off the character and now everyone's hopeless. So they might do that to Cat Williams' character later on in his career. They created another character like this, which is Orlando Brown, and he spreads a lot of misinformation as well. And this is the same thing with Cat Williams. So as you can see, it's very obvious that Cat Williams is a Masonic puppet, just like the rest of them. Cat Williams and Freemason have the same gematria in three ciphers. They both equal 42 in the reduction, 174 and 147, and then 84 and 48. I don't understand why people actually think this is a real person when he's clearly doing symbolism in front of your face. He's doing one eye symbolism and he's wearing red, which is the root chakra. And there's an animal print which activates the animalistic part in your brain. So this is why they use a lot of animals in their music videos. They do these things to keep you in your animalistic part of your brain, which is very low vibrational. He's also doing symbolism with his fingers. As you can see with his left hand, he's doing the number two, and then he's doing the number three with his right hand. So you get 23, which is very interesting because his name is listed as Micah S. Cat Williams, and Micah S. Cat Williams equals 203, just like a New World Order. So that's why he's doing the 23 symbolism right here. And 203 is a number that they use a lot with a lot of their cults and organizations. So Nation of Islam is also 203, along with Satanic Worship, the Freemasons, and a New World Order. So Cat Williams' name matches up with all of these things. And it's interesting that it matches up with Nation of Islam because Cat Williams said he joined the Nation of Islam. So this shows that they are scripted to join certain religions. Clearly Cat Williams was scripted to join the Nation of Islam because his name matches up with Nation of Islam. And keep in mind, all religions were created to box you in and to keep you in a very submissive state. Religion was created to block your third eye and to control your beliefs. If you guys want more information about that, I have an hour long video exposing this on my Patreon. Unfortunately, this video was deleted from my channel, so it's only available on Patreon. The link is in the description. Here's some more symbolism that Cat Williams is doing. And this is on the cover for his Dark Matter tour, which took place in the NRG arena. And if you notice, NRG is basically energy because they are harvesting your energy when you go to these shows. And that goes for concerts, stand-up comedy, sports. All of these things were created to harvest your energy. And as you can see, Cat Williams matches up with the Jesuit order with the number 84 in the same cipher. And Cat Williams has pushed many agendas Right here, he was dressed up as 6 9 which is kind of ironic because I just made a video about 6 9 I'll put a link to that video in the description. Micah Cat Williams matches up with Industry Plant with the number 47 in the same cipher. If you guys noticed, Cat Williams was wearing a very strange and symbolic chain during his recent interview. And he's been wearing this chain for a very long time. Here's the original picture of the chain. And when I first looked at this chain, I thought it said fake woke because at first glance, when you look at Cat Williams wearing this chain from a distance, it looks like fake woke. It's put there on purpose because this character is a fake woke industry plant. Cat Williams matches up with fake woke in Gematria. As you can see, his real name is Michael Williams, which equals 36 in the same cipher as fake woke. And of course he's wearing the animal print again in this picture. Here's some more pictures of Cat Williams doing symbolism. Right here you can see he has the eye on his shirt in plain sight. Right now Cat Williams is deceiving many people into believing he's an actual real person that is exposing the industry but he's actually telling a truth and a lie and I can prove this with Gematria because what are the chances that Cat Williams is currently 52 years old and his stage name Cat equals 52 
and the phrase truth and a lie also equals 52. So that's how you know he was scripted. And I also noticed that cat and devil have the same gematria in two ciphers as well. And the devil is not actually real. The devil is just symbolic to a low vibrational person. So this is why cat matches up with devil because all celebrities are low vibrational. Another interesting fact that proves that Cat Williams was scripted to do this, his name is Cat Williams and he's currently trending in the year of the cat. As you can see, the year of the cat started on January 22nd, 2023, and it doesn't end until February 9th, 2024, which is next month. So don't you guys find it ironic that Cat Williams is trending in the year of the cat at age 52? and cat equals 52 and truth and a lie is also 52 so the scripting is in plain sight now let's expose cat williams base character so as you can see cat williams is based off of the reverend l sharpton both of these characters look very similar right here you can see they have the same eyes the same nose the same mouth the same chin and the same head shape and right here you can see they have the same hairstyle and the same side profile as well Here's some more comparisons of Cat Williams and Al Sharpton. And now that Cat Williams is getting older, he's really starting to look like Al Sharpton. So Al Sharpton's real name is Alfred Charles Sharpton. Alfred Sharpton equals 67 and Micah Cat Williams also equals 67 in the same cipher. And then I noticed that Cat equals 23 and Al Sharpton's first name Alfred is also 23 in the same cipher. So Cat Williams' middle name is Sierra and Al Sharpton's middle name is Charles. And as you can see, both of their middle names also share the same gematria. Sierra and Charles both equal 30 in the same cipher. And there's many people on Twitter that can notice the similarities, but this one really caught my attention because this is from a celebrity that speaks on the NBA. And in 2014, he said, Al Sharpton and Cat Williams are starting to look alike. And this picture really convinced me because when I seen this picture of L. Sharpton in the mirror, he reminded me a lot of Cat Williams. Another connection is the Boondocks. So Cat Williams voiced a pimp named Slickback in the Boondocks. And this is a connection because his other character, L. Sharpton, got mad at the Boondocks over the N-word. So both of these characters are connected to the Boondocks. Now let's move on to the next character, which is Allen Iverson. As you can see, these two characters look very similar. And notice how they're both doing symbolism in this comparison right here. And here's another good comparison of Cat Williams and Allen Iverson. Both of these characters are only a few years apart. So that's another connection as well. But now let's move on to the Gematria connections. So as you can see, Cat equals 56 in Gematria. And Allen Iverson also equals 56 in Gematria. And then Iverson equals 42, just like Cat Williams. Another connection is the fact that Allen Iverson played basketball for the NBA, right? And Cat Williams has a stand-up about basketball of him sharing a basketball story. Another connection is the fact that Kevin Hart responded to Cat Williams on NBA Unplugged. And when you look at the title of this article, you can see that they're being very symbolic. They put Cat Williams and NBA in the same title. And this is a connection because his other character is Allen Iverson who played in the NBA. So they do certain things like this on purpose to give you a hint of their other character. So now let's take a look at Al Sharpton and Allen Iverson because these two characters look alike as well because Al Sharpton is the base character of Allen Iverson and Cat Williams. And what that means is when they created Allen Iverson and Cat Williams, they based both of those two characters off of Al Sharpton. They were both based off of Al Sharpton when they were created. So this is why they both look alike. And on top of that, they have the same gematria as well. So L Sharpton equals 146. And Allen Iverson also equals 146 in gematria. L Sharpton and Allen Iverson also match up with the number 56. Allen Iverson's full name is Allen Ezale Iverson, right? As you can see, Allen Iverson's full name equals 54, just like Alfred Sharpton in the same cipher. And on top of that, Al Sharpton was born in 1954. So that's a huge connection right there. Another connection is the fact that both of their last names share the same gematria in two ciphers. As you can see, Iverson and Sharpton both have the same value of 39 in the reduction cipher and 42 in the reverse reduction cipher. So I found this interesting article that is letting us know in plain sight that Al Sharpton and Allen Iverson are the same. Because in 2014, they said Al Sharpton... L. Iverson, 
Parallels in Falls from Grace. So it's funny that they spelled his name L. Iverson instead of spelling it completely out like Allen Iverson. It was done on purpose because if you notice, all three of these characters have the name L in their name. So L. Sharpton starts with A.L. And then Allen Iverson also starts with A.L. And then Cat Williams has A and L inside of it as well so this can't be a coincidence and another thing i want to point out for some reason l looks like ai and i just wanted to point that out because a lot of people refer to alan iverson as ai because his initials are ai so i just wanted to point that out because now ai is a big agenda now let's get into some deeper connections because these connections are going to blow your mind. These will connect all three of these characters to prove that they're all the same. So Allen Iverson's birthday is June 7th. And when you write that out, it's 6-7, like 67. And Alfred Sharpton equals 67. And Micah Cat Williams also equals 67 in the same cipher. So that's a crazy connection. You know, all three are connected to the number 67. But it gets even deeper than that because Allen Iverson played 12 seasons with the 76ers in the NBA. And the 76ers have the number 76 in their name. And 76 is 67 reversed. So do you guys really think that's a coincidence that Allen Iverson is born on 6-7 and he played for the 76ers and two of his other characters equal 67 in the same cipher? There's no way all of this could be a coincidence. And on top of that, there's even celebrities admitting this on Twitter. So in 2013, Bill Bellamy said, Why does L. Sharpton look like he could be Allen Iverson's dad? Look at them both and you will see it. And it's ironic that Bill Bellamy is saying this because Bill Bellamy is a comedian. And in this tweet, he's talking about L. Sharpton and Allen Iverson. And their third character is a comedian, Cat Williams. I noticed that L. Sharpton matches up with Death Faker with the number 43 in the same cipher. So there's a high possibility that Al Sharpton might fake his death or one of his other characters because Cat Williams' real name, Michael Williams, matches up with scripted death in the same three ciphers. As you can see, they both equal 132, 60, and 219. And I noticed that these characters are heavily connected to many organizations in Gematria. So Al Sharpton's full name equals 223, just like Skull and Crossbones. And the Skull and Bones logo is 322, which is 223 backwards. Also, I wanted to point out the fact that Al Sharpton was accused of helping the feds in 2013. And I just wanted to point this out because this character is heavily connected to the government. You know, he's even ran for president at one point in time. So he's pushing that democratic agenda. And as you can see, there's a symbol in the background so L. Sharpton was born in New York, right? And this was clearly scripted because Sharpton and New York have the same gematria of 666 in the Sumerian cipher. And 666 is a low vibrational number. This is why many celebrities actually match up to this number in the Sumerian cipher. You know, in my Andrew Tate video, I pointed out how his name also matched up with 666 in this same cipher. And then I noticed that Allen Iverson matches up with All Seeing Eye, Rockefeller, Royal Family, Society of Jesus, Church of Satan, King James Bible, and the Skull and Bones, all in the same cipher with the number 56. And then Allen Iverson's full name equals 199, just like the Secret Society. So keep in mind, Cat Williams has many characters. This is why they made this article that says the nine lives of Cat Williams. You know, they're being very symbolic to the fact that this character has many other characters. And his youngest character right now is T.I.'s daughter, Deja Harris. And Divine Sade made a really good video about this topic. And as you can see, they look so much alike in this comparison right here. So I recommend you guys check out that video. The link is in the description. Another character that is mixed with Cat Williams is Charleston White. And the reason I never made a video about this topic is because although Charleston White is mixed partially with Cat Williams, He's still not completely based off of Cat Williams, you know, only partially. So this is why he doesn't have the same eyes as Cat Williams, nor the same nose or the same mouth. Because Charleston White is actually based off of Tevin Campbell. And I made a video about this last year. I'll put a link to that video in the description. But as you can see, it's very obvious that Charleston White is actually Tevin Campbell. And like I said, he is partially mixed with Cat Williams, which is why they have a slight resemblance 
you know, they do mix multiple characters together to try to create an illusion of a new celebrity. You know, it's like a hybrid, but in reality, they will always be based off of one character primarily. And in this case, Charleston White is based off of Tevin Campbell and Cat Williams is based off of Al Sharpton. So that's why I separated the two. So here are some more comparisons of Charleston White and Tevin Campbell because these two are completely identical. I mean, these two have the same eyes, the same nose, the same mouth, the same teeth. And the eyes really give it away with this one because Charleston White is known for having a fake eye and a real eye. And if you notice, Tevin Campbell has the same exact eyes as Charleston White. You know, their left eye is very small while the right eye is very big. So this one is just in plain sight. I highly recommend you guys go watch my video about this topic. The link to this video is in the description. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, subscribe to my Patreon. We have two new videos on there and I'm still doing calls with all of my Patreon subscribers. And we also offer numerology readings on Patreon as well. So be sure to let me know if you're interested in that when you join. And yeah, don't be deceived by celebrities. You know, Cat Williams is deceiving many people right now. So it's very important that you understand that he's just a character so that you won't be deceived and distracted. Because at the end of the day, every celebrity was designed to keep you distracted and further away from yourself.